My weapon machines will fix that for you. Tear the bad guys and I've been thinking, and now I'm free of him. The future's so iridescently bright. A new life betokens a new name. Felicity. It means happiness. From now on, I'm Felicity. We need mucho robot bodies if we're gonna retake Helios and save the day and stuff. Capiche? Decisions, decisions. Evidently, this place became a regular ghost town when Dahl packed up and left after the Krakening. But we just need to get to the power suit section and get things up and running again. I always got new oh, stock. Keep your Check money. back later. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks for the scratch. Goodbye, friend. If you shop anywhere else, that's systems in there. Still, you know how to handle yourself, which is something. The doors 
jammed. Maybe some kind of manual override. We need another way in. Find a console and hook me up to it. I bet I can do something about this. Perfect. Just give me a moment to look around. There's barely any power running through this. Ta-da! More nasties. Filthy wire chews are everywhere. I hate them. Plus, it looks like local scavs have set up shop. Push through here and find me a console to plug into so I can find out what's ahead. And kill me some bugs while you're at it. I'd forgotten how fun exploring new systems can be. Right then. Past this building is the Stingray Factory Complex, and beyond that, the Bot Factory. It's a pretty straight shot. I should be able to get us past any locked gates. You can get us past any stupid people. jammed door. Well, maybe it'll open if you give it a good pull. systems being all fighty and feisty, so... Sorry. I'll work on opening the door. You deal with the turrets. Get it done. Whoever programmed you is an idiot. open hopefully hey kids how's it going down there having fun keeping things on track with old robot army plan i think a lot of violence won't solve hey G, i'll see you soon news flash this door's being a huge pain in my digital arse there's a jump pad nearby i can activate let's use that to get in it was probably put there by scavs who used pads like that to sneak in and out of Concordia. Oh. 
farming. Looks like scavs have put up crude electric fields, presumably to keep out torques. Follow that cable. Let's see if we can shut it down. must be connected to a master fuse box somewhere. Follow them. They should lead the way out. There's the master fuse box. Shutting it down should get us past this last electric field, though I suppose it'll probably shut down all the other fields as well. So eyes peeled for talks. have helped run a scav gang but that didn't stop me finding these repulsive scraps of humanity disgusting each one you kill is making the universe a cleaner place
Thanks so much. Feels like I've been trapped here forever. I'll open the door. Am I glad to see you? Here I was doing some help yourself exploring, working on a pet project I've been cooking up when the scav swept in, about to cut me up bad when I persuaded them I'm a medic. I am a doctor, but more the Hyperion R&D kind. Hey Jack, that true? I don't recognize him. Yo, what's your name? Ah, uh, sorry bruv, Gladstone Katoa, D Division. What brings you here? Oh, D Division, that's where they hide all the Brainiacs who work on the, all the super secret awesome stuff, right? Uh, I work on experimental tech. The Division Green let me using the resources here. Why are you here? Well, Gladstone Katoa, I need to get back to Helios and retake the big-ass laser on it from a bunch of freaky-looking doll military types. And if we don't, the moon's gonna go boom and take half of Pandora with it. You know, the huge. Oh, man. I wondered what was going on. So, why are you here? Shouldn't you be somewhere more space station -y? Jack wants to build a robot army driven by my AI, then retake Helios with it. I'm Felicity, by the way. You're after my prototype. Well, it's not finished. What? No, we're here to build robots. What prototype are you talking about? Ah, oh, right. I was working on an uh, off-the-books project, creating a master bot capable of digistructing an almost unlimited supply of other bots. My prototype's almost done, but the scav stopped me from installing some key parts. Besides, I wouldn't want something that powerful to fall into their grimy hands. This guy? This guy right here? Tell me more. Yeah, bro. We'll just need to finish putting the hardware together. After that, install a military-grade AI and POW! It should pump out combat-ready loaders. Way ahead of you, man. What do you think old Felicity is here for? What? You want me inside some kind of constructor bot? That's not what I had in mind. Ooh, constructor. I like it. Nice. So, uh, tech dude, this prototype can digistruct combat loaders, right? Because, to be honest, those power suits seem kind of lame. Yeah, totally. But first, you'll need to finish putting together the prototype. You'll need to get access to the main bot factory itself through the transportation gate. I'll monitor the systems from here. All right, go Team Robot Army. Do I not get a say in this? Sure, yeah, whatever makes you happy. Just make my loaders deadly. By the way, last guy who double-crossed me has got nothing but a bunch of bullet holes and a stupid look on his face. Get me? Why would I cross you, bro? You're trying to save the moon. Hey, you seem like a stand-up... Plus, you're about to help me complete my life's work. Maybe 
you scared them off with your uh, extremely scary vault hunterness. My new robot army, huh? Yeah, this is where I was doing most of my work before the scabs came and forced me to be their medic. We need to clear the area of them before getting to work. up in here? Of course, bruv. The scabs make it look way worse than it is. First thing we need to do is restore the main power. Head over to the breaker room and see what's what. through the window. Let me see if I can get the cover down. Those guys are rude. Looks like scavs have barricaded themselves inside. That security glass is vulnerable to cold. 
Reckon you should freeze and smash? Yeah! Piss off! What? should be in this room. Just flip it on. closer to saving the world. Okay, let's get down to serious business now. The first thing we need to do is complete the eye part. That's the really clever bit. I already have the process set up, but we'll need the material from a few of the security bots. I was never able to get them myself. Let me guess. All brains, no balls. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The little buggers back quite a punch. Head back to the security office that looks over the main room and call them in. Of course, that might attract more scabs too, so be prepared.
the Oculus Lab. I'll walk you through the process. It should already be set up. in that converter over there. It'll melt down the raw materials and form the prototype eye. An eye converter? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Why the hell would they make an eye converter? They didn't make it. I did. I was here for a long time preparing this lab for my prototype. This is highly sensitive experimental technology. Really? Because it looks like a toaster. There it goes. All my hard work finally paying off. We're seeing history in the making. Okay, now pick it up. This is so friggin' hot. Okay, now head back to the main room. We need to plug that baby into the main torso. when the scavs arrived. It'll pump out a lot of robots, enough to make the difference against Dahl or whatever they are. Ah, it's, uh, looks kind of like a dumpster wrapped in sadness. Hey, no offense. This constructor will be able to digistrike highly complex machines at an unsurpassed rate. Now that's done, we need to mount the torso onto the crane system. Installation. You know, you could just copy me. It takes a little longer, but it's the same thing, and I'd find it much less terrifying. Exactly how much less terrifying? It's the difference between brain surgery and being scammed. Uh, let me think about it. That's good, that's good. Now we need to attach the turrets, then the legs. Targeting systems. Oh, that's okay, thanks. I've got a fast way to do that.
eggs are in the other lab. They're still attached to an experimental version of the Dahl power suit, so you'll need to separate them and get them into the crane system. How about I take over the power suit, then walk the legs to where they can be assembled? Wouldn't that be easier? Hey, that's not a bad idea. I didn't even think of that. It'll be a nice warm-up for you. Come in your way!
Commander, can you use the controls to lower the torso onto the legs? Yeah, this is gonna get awesome. It got awesome. It's a brute, isn't it? Instructions complete, finally! The shell just needs to go through testing in the diagnostics chamber. We'll be able to install the AI core Felicity there. You know, Jack, I really didn't enjoy killing those scavs. Maybe this is all a mistake. I don't like killing either, babe. Take the rails around. Head into that office and use the controls to get things moving again. Take to copy you? A couple of days at the absolute most. Uh-uh. Too long. Zarpadon will have popped the moon like a zit by then. Look, I'm really sorry, kiddo. This is the only way. Vault Hunter, do it. Installing. Look, 
Grinding nothing at this rate, soldier. Best outcome achieved! This grinder is ready for use. Three items, soldier. This grind is go, soldier. Fortune smiles on you, soldier. Doll grinders. You find it, we grind it. Soldier? You still there? This grind is go, soldier. Make your enemies hurt, soldier. Give me something to grind here, soldier. V3 item, soldier. It's a fine day. Full of them. You kill stuff better. Seriously? Okay. Holy crap! I done sold a challenge. Right. Now get. came today with Bite Fun from Strange Creature in Cave. She call it Thresher. 
Let his husband get dead from creature. Make Nina think. Oh, Nina should get married. Perhaps Vault Hunter can help. Hmm, here's where it gets fun. I stashed some food away for a special occasion. Guess this qualifies. Help yourselves. All right, here we go, everybody. The jamming signal's down, we've got a robot army, and it's time to get back to Helios and turn off that death laser. Roland and I will head up with you guys and provide support. And I'll be cheering you on from the cozy confines of this cantina. I don't know how hairy things have gotten up there, so be prepared for anything. Let's go. We'll fast travel up there first. You follow behind. Shut that laser down soon. We can kiss this whole moon goodbye. See you on the other side, kiddo. What she said. Let's be heroes. <laughs> <laughs> 